Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that if U is a matrix with elements in first row as 1 minus 3, elements in second row as 2, 4, and elements in third row as minus 1, 5, and V is a matrix with elements in first row as minus 3, 0, 1, and elements in second row as 2, minus 5, 7, then find UV, that is product of the two matrices U and V, if defined. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is, product of two matrices A and B, that is AV, is defined when number of columns of matrix A is equal to Number of rows of matrix P. E. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now here we have to find product UV if defined. Now we are given matrix U and you can see matrix U has three rows and two columns. So, dimension of this matrix is 3 cross 2 and matrix V has two rows and three columns. So, dimension of this matrix is 2 cross 3 so, number of columns of matrix U is equal to number of rows of matrix V. And from the key idea, we know that product of two matrices A and B, that is AB, is defined when number of columns of matrix A is equal to number of rows of matrix B. Now here, as number of columns of matrix U is equal to number of rows of matrix V, so product UV is defined. Now let us find product UV, that is product of two matrices U and V. Now here, the resulting matrix will be of order 3 cross 3 and the elements of resultant matrix will be obtained by multiplying the elements of each row of the matrix U by the corresponding elements of each column of the matrix V and then adding the products. Now let us take first row of matrix U and first column of matrix V and here we have 1 into minus 3 plus of minus 3 into 2. Now let us take first row of matrix U and second column of matrix V and here we have 1 into 0 plus of minus 3 into minus 5 then, taking first row of matrix U and third column of matrix V, here we have 1 into 1 plus of minus 3 into 7. Now, for elements of second row of the resultant matrix, that is the product matrix, we take second row of matrix U and first column of matrix V and here we have 2 into minus 3 plus 4 into 2 then taking second row of matrix U and second column of matrix V, we have 2 into 0 
plus 4 into minus 5. Now again taking second row of matrix U and third column of matrix V, we have 2 into 1 plus 4 into 7. Now for elements of third row of the product matrix, we take third row of matrix U and first column of matrix V and here we have minus 1 into minus 3 plus 5 into 2 then we take third row of matrix U and second column of matrix V and here we have minus 1 into 0 plus 5 into minus 5 and then we take third row of matrix U and third column of matrix V and we have minus 1 into 1 plus 5 into 7. Simplifying, we get a matrix with elements in first row as minus 3, minus 6, 0, plus 15 and 1 minus 21 elements in second row as minus 6 plus 8 0 minus 20 and 2 plus 28 and elements in third row as 3 plus 10, 0, minus 25, and minus 1, plus 35. Further on simplifying, we get a matrix with elements in first row as minus 9, 15, and minus 20. Elements in second row as 2, minus 20, and 30. And elements in third row as 13, minus 25 and 34. So this is the required product UV. And here you can see we have three rows and three columns in this matrix. So it is a 3 cross 3 matrix. And this is the solution of the given question. That's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.